Operation DeadSec is active once again after months of relative silence. If you suspect anyone of being a member of DeadSec, report them to SIRS immediately using your CSA app. I want that inspected. Lock it down. SIRS Counter-Terror Director Malik personally oversaw an investigation that uncovered the true identities of every operative in DedSec's London cell. This is a message for dead sake. I believe Richard Malik is about to murder me in some gruesome way. If you see Malik, tell him. Canada House was destroyed by a series of explosions, and an individual known to be part of the dead sec organization was seen on CCTV attempting to flee the area. SIRS new director of counterterrorism, Richard Malik, issued the following statement. I call upon my counterparts around the world to treat the dead sec threat with all due vigilance. They are... Hey, one more thing. I know Malik's currently our best lead on Zero Day and the bombings, but he's fucking dangerous. If you see him, don't try to take him alive. It's not worth it. On the contrary, I think what Malik knows about Zero Day and the bombing... ...outweighs the well-being of any individual operative. Malik ought to be taken alive and interrogated.
In order to access the filament admin terminal from your optic interface, you'll have to align the SIRS satellite network with my packet stream from Bloom Tower. Now I should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry. Channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security. But I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. Don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security right before the bombings. This is their M.O. What are you talking about? I want dead set gone, but no one else needs to die. You've proven yourselves very skilled, and I could put those skills to use. Join me. You can still make something of your lives. Join Zero Day? Zero Day? No, I mean sirs. You've practically been working for me anyway. And besides, we have a lot in common. We both use violence and manipulation to shape London into something better. The only difference is I know what I want it to be. Strong, stable, unified, safe. This is what I value. What about you? Um, interesting conversations. Unlike this one. Fine. If we can't convince each other, then I suppose killing will have to do. I'm here. What's the plan? We're here to find some documents we're calling the Malik Dossier. Basically, it's the paper trail that proves Malik was behind the Canada House bombings. Problem is, these documents won't be on one computer. They'll be on dozens, scattered across the country. So what's the plan? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Let's have Malik take it. Sirs uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom, instantly. Nicely done, sweetie. Break in and connect Bagley to a filament administrative terminal. He'll do the rest. As usual.
Someone forget to turn this back on. Yeah, right. 
right mind. That central server is Filament's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access. Shit, we've been locked out. Oh, and it seems Malik deployed the microwave drones. Sorry, what? Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. S Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down.
drones down, server room unlocked, and buggery fuck, Malik has locked me out. He must have a hard line to the server. Suggestions? A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion, but Filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. So we're unplugging it and then plugging it back in again? Close enough. something about this drone. It can't seem to take a fucking hint. Fuck off, you stupid drone. This isn't a picnic and I haven't got any germ. Would you look at this? A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dozen shell companies, but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik, parents to one Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. Could you shoot this drone down? I'm asking for lightning to go away, but I'm afraid I don't speak dipshit. This microwave drone has been hanging around so long, I've given her a name. I'd like you to meet Ada. Would you mind killing her? Bugger off, you clinging little bastard. No, I am not your new daddy. Well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bomb were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny, that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I tried to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable, I'm motion sick. Look at this. It's an unredacted mission report, but two SRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise, and it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the Secretary. Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail, and that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. This microwave drone is starting to be a real problem over here. It seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. What do we have here? Straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case files on all these little side ops you've been running. Honestly, you might as well have titled this Evil Bomb Conspiracy, Doc Doc. That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central core to complete the cycle. Well done, Bagley. Now let's get this scheming little bastard. With pleasure.
fully integrated with filament, and it seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks. I believe I can trace his position. Do it. All right, let's find you. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right, wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh look, seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh no, it worked. Oi, what the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now enabled. Fuck! Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly under pressure. What now? I sent the Malik dossier to every media outlet from the Jeep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear Densex's name. At least for this particular thing. And Malik? Made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. Can someone explain why we aren't having that car drive straight into the river? Believe me, I'd love to. But he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits together, but we need to find out. You hear that, Malik? You Bloody hell, you insane robot! Slow down! Malik is safe house. All right. Well, now that we have him, we should talk to him. Find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just don't get too close to him, all right? Because he's alive. He's a threat. Hey, look, they're talking about our friend Malik on the GBB. Let's see it. Other documents in the Malik dossier, which were released by the organization known as DedSec. Officially, SIRS disputes the veracity of the documents, though sources within the organization claim that Richard Malik himself has fled the country following what one described as an unprecedented and humiliating data breach. As more of the dossier is independently verified, Counter-terror experts speculate that the bombings earlier this year may have also been misattributed to DedSec. All right, Richard. We know you were behind the High Commission bombing, and we know you were involved with the earlier bombings as well. Time to talk. The earlier bombings? What are you... Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot. 
and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power, and fast. But you knew about Zero Day when you approached us. I'm a spy, so yes. I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Honestly, it doesn't matter. We're going to learn the truth, and until we do, you're not going anywhere. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear your... that Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty project at a press conference. And why would I like that? Albion's always got some sort of nasty plan going. Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meetings at the Drowning Post. I wouldn't mind a drink while we plan how to give Nigel bloody Cass a black eye. All right. This is a bad one. Someone in 404 sent me a text file. Dead sex int- uh -huh. well, maybe. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. The American State Department keeps tabs on all their citizens abroad. If you want to find Heath Bolton, hack the CTOS hub at the American Embassy, and I can use their records to track him down. Thank you, sweetie. What's good, Chief? I'm sorry for not being at IRL, but... An investigation. Are you the police or not? We are. And I mean it exactly the way it sounds. My friend was a journalist. She was working on a story about sirs kidnapping people off the street and then she goes missing. You don't find that the slightest bit suspicious? Look, the decision not to invest... The journalist mentioned in that call seems to have run afoul of SIRS. And seeing as they've taken 1984 letters a dire warning and more as an instruction book, she may be in trouble. She needs our help. Absolutely. Let's do it. I've marked her last known location on your map. You should hurry, though. It was dated recently enough that SIRS might not have caught up with her yet. Fucking rubbish. It, yeah? It's not that much rubbish. Oh, man. Good for a laugh. Fuck with me, huh? We'll see. 